Hi guys, my name is Jeremy Ritten, and I want to show you the proper way to do the kettlebell swing. There's a lot of people out there uh, that you can watch and see do the swing. I want to show you the safest and most effective way to do it. Okay? So the first thing that you need to remember is when you're doing the swing, this is all about your hips. Okay? We're not squatting, okay? we're collapsing our hips. And so the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually the deadlift. All right, I've got a kettlebell here in front of me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my hips back to the point that it causes my knees to softly bend. Okay, so I'm going to be looking straight ahead here. I'm going to push my hips back, push my hips back. All right, I'm going to find the kettlebell without looking down at it. And I'm going to pull my hips in. All right, push my hips back. And I want you to look at the, my knees. Okay, I have a C shape here with my knees. Okay, that's the position that you want to be in when you actually do the swing. Okay, we're not squatting, we're collapsing our hips and then exploding our hips forward. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my kettlebell here in front. So what I wanna do is show you what this should look like. Okay, the proper way to do this, kettlebell is about two feet in front of you feet about shoulder width apart, okay? You don't want to be out real wide, all right? And so I'm gonna get down to the kettlebell just like I did on the deadlift, okay? I'm gonna push my hips back, all right? I'm gonna pack my shoulders down into the socket and I'm gonna be looking straight ahead, okay? I'm gonna pull the kettlebell back and I'm gonna snap my hips forward, all right? So I'm here, I'm looking straight ahead. Park it under control, okay? Kettlebells are different. You don't ever want to lose concentration until that kettlebell is completely motionless. All right, so when you do the kettlebell right, everyone's going to raise your heart rate like mine is right now. But number two, you want to make sure that you protect your lower back, okay? Kettlebells are to help strengthen uh, your lower back as opposed to hurting it, okay? But you have to really listen. You have to get the technique down right. So. When you do the swing, number one, make sure you have somebody teaching it to you the right way. Okay, don't do YouTube and watch all the other kettlebell movements. Okay, make sure you have somebody certified to teach you how to do this. And what you're going to find is this is one of the best things to cure lower back issues. My personal story uh, is I was having a lot of back issues after I did an Ironman triathlon, a lot of knee issues, and what I found was I was very weak in my glutes and my hip flexors were extremely tight. So once I started learning how to do the swing properly, uh, it cured my lower back, I'm able to run again, I'm able to squat, um, and I really believe that it can really help a lot of people cure lower back issues, okay? So, if you would like info more information about kettlebells, uh, make sure you either call us at the number below or you send us an email uh, and we'll set up a consultation and uh, see how kettlebells can help you. Thanks again.